and today we are going to see the Wi-Fi coverage of a smart and sustainable house which has a lot of smart devices connected that require 24-7 connectivity and some interesting projects that I did share already with you for example the garage door opening with a single touch of a button on my phone the swimming pool lights and motor just running on their own the PV solar panel system working and the measurement of the energy produced the systems that we use to measure the temperature and the energy that we use to heat up water all the ACs that are automatically working based on the temperature that we have on each room a lot of smart switches spread all over the house video surveillance systems and all this on a three floor house with 480 square meters which two of the floors are used on a normal way but one has some really high demanding needs of connectivity both on download and upload and 24 7 connectivity and it's not easy to get all these devices connected simultaneous to a wi-fi network but the solution has been over the years devolo and if you stay for a few more minutes with you, I will share all the devices that I use and the state of my Wi-Fi connectivity. So, are you ready? Let's go for it. There are four principles that I believe to be very important when we are designing our network. First of all, if we have the option to connect via cable Ethernet RJ45, then this is the way that we should connect, having in mind if the device accepted, because we will have the best connectivity possible and the fastest speeds without any break. In my case, I was able after a lot of work to spread cable to all the three floors and for the majority of the areas. When the connection directly to the cable it's not possible, the second best choice that we have been using for the past 7-8 years is power line adapters and the best power line adapters that I've used so far are the Volo. Now we have done some extreme tests, I will leave some links right over here so that you can check it out, but I can give you a quick example. If you live on the 23rd Floor and you have one power line adapter and then 23 floors below you have your basement with your car garage you can connect another power line adapter and 23 floors above and they will connect to each other giving me internet on my basement just by using the electric connection in a safe way and this is the only device available on the market that I'm aware of that is capable of doing a connection such as this one and the normal usage of the power line adapters is that one one will grab the Ethernet cable and will have the signal send it through our electric grid, giving the other power line adapters a signal that will convert to Wi Fi and Ethernet. And if we have the means to connect other power line adapters on our grid, to cable so that they will also take advantage like the original one and have full power then we will have the best of both worlds they will have a strong connectivity between them and the wi-fi power will be the maximum on all of them and as always this is the way that I use it. Depends, but in most cases, the answer is yes. Mesh Wi-Fi is just great to simplify the life of everyone that lives on a household. One single network name that we can connect regardless of where we are. There are some disadvantages as well. For example, sometimes my laptop does not connect exactly to the nearest hotspot that I have. It will connect to one floor above for a few minutes and we will have a week signal and when it decides then it will connect to the nearest one to me and to bypass this the way that I use at this moment is without any mesh I do have all my Wi-Fi networks individually so that I'm able to connect every single smart device to the network that I want and to the access point that I know that it's closest to that particular device that I want to connect there are also disadvantages in this scenario as you can imagine and the biggest in my opinion is is that anyone that goes from one area to the other area will have to select a different network to have the best coverage possible. This is the first floor and I've got a power line adapter the Volo Magic 2 on the room which is from Martin which is my youngest son and the choice of this room is because it's a central area and it will spread the Wi-Fi signal through all 
this area. Besides covering all the devices of this floor, smart TV, smart TV boxes and so on and so forth, it also covers the devices that I've got on top of the roof, like Shelly 1PM for example, which is measuring the power production of my solar systems, which I've got two on this roof. And besides that, also another Shelly 1PM measuring the temperature of the water that I've got on the water heater and also the measurement of the energy injection on that water heater in the winter for example when we don't have enough sun in terms of speeds we have roughly 70 megabits per second here on the my oldest son and as if that was not enough i did connect on his room a devolu repeater 5400 so that he has connection to the computer itself via cable and at the same time maximum speeds of 500 megabits per second download and 100 upload on the wi-fi connectivity for his devices and for his gaming sessions this is the most privileged room on the house yeah. this is the ground floor and this is the playground room which is similarity of chaos right over here now this is the only room on the house that we don't need any access point because we have got our isp provider router so here we use either wi-fi or rj45 connectivity directly to the router the living room which is just next to this wall we have a devolu power line adapter wi-fi ac 1200 which is not the latest but it's still working great and it provides signal to my smart tv my NVD Shield TV, a smart radio that we have, and the balcony area. So all this area is covered by that power line adapter. On the next area, which is the kitchen, I've got a repeater so that I can send stronger signal to two TVs that we've got right over there, which one is really far away. And besides that, it also sends signal to the energy management system that I have to control the injection of energy to heat up water and the connectivity has to be fast so that they keep on sending information based on millisecond changes so that we have free energy or energy that would be wasted to heat up water and here we are on the basement which is the area that you already know my office area here i've got a power line adapter to volo wi-fi ac 1200 which gives me great speeds of about 350 megabits per second all over the office and even outside the office and i've got two other power line adapters connected to this one which is centralized and one of those is connected on the machine house near the swimming pool where we have all the smart devices connected to the automatization of the swimming pool pump the swimming pool light the smart devices that measure the solar pv systems that i've got on a pergola right over there the swimming pool pump the swimming pool robot cleaner swimming pool lights garden lights which is divided into areas and a lot more devices that i can't even recall i also have another power line adapter connected to this one right over here but it's not located at this level it's on the ground floor on the garage and although i wouldn't need signal on my garage i do need signal outside my home so that i can provide Wi-Fi signal to the smart doorbell that I have. And that's the main function of that power line adapter. On that side of the basement, I do have the gymnasium and cinema area where I do have a Devolu Wi-Fi Magic 2 as an access point, which gives me signal to all that cinema area and also on a corner that we have and that we set up for summer where we have our meals during the evening we watch tv and so on and so forth so it will connect to all those smart devices and it will give signal also for anyone that it's on the swimming pool area to overkill situations that i want to share with you first of all is that here on the office i did assemble this desk which is like a island and sometimes i do need to test out the devices that do not have Wi-Fi connectivity and I need to connect via RJ45 cable. Now I do use a Devolu Gigagate which is a discontinued product in my opinion is great and it works as a bridge so it will send me one gigabit of signal to the other 
side without any wires and will be able to connect any device that I need that doesn't have the Wi-Fi connectivity. Second overkill situation is I do also have right over there a Devolo repeater 5400 as an access point which will eventually replace the Wi-Fi 1200 AC that I've got right over here but at this moment it's not replacing it's only sending a bigger signal than what I already have so at this moment I've got 500 megabits per second download and 100 upload which is the maximum of my ISP so this is my Wi-Fi setup and although it's not perfect it has been working great for over the years and the best thing in my opinion is that it has been growing with me regardless of the house that I was no I only purchased the first kit that I ever had and I was so happy with the results that I got on a holder house that I did share one video to YouTube with all the results and measurements and whatnot and one day the Volo found me on YouTube channel this channel right over here and they invited me to test out their products and do the kind of test that I did back then and in exchange provide a honest review and share with the public in a video format like I'm doing today with my Wi-Fi connectivity so I am privileged to be able to test out all this kind of technology and be able to share with you all these results which I will mention once again I've got a lot of videos right over here and if you search the channel for powerline adapters you will find all sorts of tests that we have done so far so I'm really appreciated to all of you that made this possible and also to the volume that being said hope that this video was helpful in some way I know it's not entertainment style but I believe that the hours that I do spend doing all these tests will help to enrich the YouTube library in terms of technical aspects and if that was achieved and if you enjoyed the video don't forget that usual thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one.